What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to Underleveled. My name is Taka, and today we're going to be opening up two battle style ETBs, and we're going to be matching them against each other. Which one has better pull rates, the red or the blue? And they're probably the exact same pull rates, but if you're crazy like me and you think that the left Twix taste way better than the right Twix, even though they're exact same thing, then you might get a kick out of this video. Personally, I think the red is going to have better pulls than the blue. So let's get to it. We're going to start with the blue box. Now, if you're coming from Champion's Path or Shining Fates, you might be used to ETBs having 10 packs, but these have 8. There's also no promo card in here, so there's nothing really noteworthy in here. So we're just going to pull the packs out and just start opening them. All right, so here we have our 8 packs from our blue Rapid Strike ETB box. And right off the bat, the packs are really loosely wrapped. I mean, you can just tell that these are all really loose. but Let's just get right into it. And of course, the chase card is going to be those alternate art cards, as well as some pretty awesome trainers. So first blue pack, let's see how these pull rates are. Reverse hollow and wow. <laughs> wow, right off the bat. Karina's Focus, Full Art. Full Art Trainer on the first pack. That is amazing. Oh my gosh. Rapid Strike might be the way to go. That looks awesome. That's really cool. That is a great pull for the first pack. All right, so, I mean, so far, <laughs> so far Rapid Strike, has been promising the red I can count the red <laughs> the red box is gonna have some competition I I hate these guys I hate them so much I love their hair but I hate them so much in the game they're so annoying oh my gosh Honej reverse hollow spoink and Tapu Bulu that's reverse hollow rare though that's pretty cool but yeah the the Sword and Shield Brothers, so annoying. They were the worst. All right, energy. Let's see what else we can pull from these. Dotler versus Hollow, and Bronzong Hollow. So, so far, we've been getting white code cards from three out of three packs. And I haven't actually watched many of these ETB openings, so I'm not actually sure how these pull rates are. Um, so the fact that we got the Karina's Focus, I'm guessing that ETBs have some pretty good pulls. I'm not too sure. Yamper vs. Hollow and Aegislash non Hollow. So I believe I've only watched a couple of booster box openings, and the pulls have been pretty all over the place. Uh, some people getting maybe nine, ten pulls a box. Some people getting five or six, which is typically not great for a booster box. Normally it's around the seven. That's a pretty... Bogo, Bogo Spiro is reverse hollow Spiro right after that non-hollow. And Tyranitar V. Awesome. Of course, just like everyone else, I would love, love the alternate art of this. I mean... Pokemon Company, they just know. They know what people want. They want, like, a Tyranitar that just ate way too much and fell asleep. Pokemon Company knew. Bellsprout, Onyx, Spearow, Sizzlypede, Shinx, Escape Rope, Reverse Hollow. That's pretty cool. And, oh, non hollow. Okay. I mean,. I'm I'm just I'm okay with this. Even if we pull nothing else, that makes the CTB worth it to me at least, because full art trainers are so awesome. But after this, we got one pack left actually, so we're flying through this, which is great because we have another ETB to open. But so far, Slazzle, that's a reverse hollow rare, cool, and Colossal, that is a hollow, nice. Okay, so, so far, we got one Tyranitar V, 
one full art trainer. That's actually not terrible from an ETB. Eight packs only too, so can't complain. Turby, Rain Foods, the Cobra, Salandit, and Scent of Scorch, non hollow. All right, so that is the pulls from the Rapid Strike Blue ETBs. I'm just gonna put these onto the side. All right, single strike, red box, eight packs. Here we go. Let's see if we can bring that Karina's Focus full art trainer. I'm pretty optimistic. Oh. Those guys, I swear. Ball toy versus hollow and Crobat hollow. I don't know. I don't know. I think I think that blue pack is going to be hard to beat. Unless we can get an alternate art or maybe Cheryl full art. That would be pretty awesome. Galarian Slowpoke. Yes. Slowpoke is my favorite Pokemon. If you don't know, um, I have a Slowpoke collection. And this is just an adorable, adorable card. I love Slowpoke so much. Wow, Rapid Strike, Energy Reverse Hollow, I like that. And Galarian Slowbro, nice. All right, so, so far, it's not looking too good for Single Strike. But we will see. Bisharp, Reverse Hollow, and Bolt Tund, Non-Hollow. All right, so, so far, Blue is in the lead with one Ultra Rare, one Full Art. We'll see. Sizzly Plead, Glam Meow, another Glaring Slowpoke, love that. Marowak, Reverse Hollow Rare, and Licky Licky. Licky Licky is actually one of Cat's favorite Pokemon, so that's pretty cool. It's not not looking too good for single strike. Bronzong, Galarian Mr. Mime, and Octillery Hollow. I'm pretty excited. Um I pre-ordered the battle boxes, the pre-release, but I haven't gotten it yet, so but I know that Octillery is one of the promo cards in those. Um so I'm pretty excited about that. Octillery is a pretty cool Pokemon and I really like the secret rare with shiny artillery. I think that's a super cool looking card. Embor, that's reverse hollow rare, nice. And Flapple V. Which is fitting because if you weren't aware, um, GameStop is giving out their Flapple edition hollow um, card, promo card. This is from Darkness of Blaze, I believe. Um, and yeah. I was able to get one of the GameStop ones with the GameStop stamp. Pretty cool card. Personally, I like Appleton more, just because he looks like an apple pie, but still really cool card. All right, so we have two packs left, and I I don't think, I don't think it's gonna, I would really love this in full art. Um, I don't think it's gonna be as great as Rapid Strike. Karina's Focus vs. Hollow, pretty cool. And set a scorch on hollow. Okay, so last pack. And I mean, it's gonna have to be a pretty dang good pack to beat the rapid strike. I mean, full art or alternate art. Alternate art would definitely beat, beat the rapid strike. But we will see if we get some last pack magic, Drampa, reverse hollow rare, and ah. Uh, Primate non hollow. Okay, so it's very clear that Rapid Strike had way better pulls than the Single Strike. But those are just my ETBs. Um, I'm still happy. I mean, Full Art Trainer out of 16 packs, that's not too bad. Two Ultra Rares, not bad. Here are the pulls from the two ETBs. We have the blue Rapid Strike box versus the Single Strike red box, and it's very clear 
who's the winner here. The win goes to the Rapid Strike Blue Box with the Full Art Trainer. And I'm really happy with these pulls. And I'm hoping that you guys are pulling some pretty awesome stuff from this set. But thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on the bell for notifications because we have a lot more Pokemon products to open. But thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.